Hey, it's Ricket Growers and Smokers. How are you guys doing today? We just got another test light here from the guys over at Photo Bio. If you've been watching our uh, YouTube channel so far, you can check out another one of their lights called the Fino 440, uh, which I just so happen to have right here. If you want to take a quick little peek, there's the Fino 440 with the adjustable panels. This one we ran a crop, ended up getting uh, a pound and a half out of that uh, light in a five by five tent. Um, so we are going to see what this one does here. This is the Photo Bio MX, okay? This is the Photo Bio MX. And this one here is 680 watts. So uh, we'll open this up here. And I'll give you guys a peek at what this uh, monster looks like here. I'd like to thank the guys out in uh, Hydro Farm there for sending me this demo light here. Uh, when you do order these lights, you do need to specify which, uh, which voltage that you're running. We uh, chose this 120 volt because it just fits to our grow test room that we were uh, doing in our test tent in our five by five. So uh, that's where we are with that. So in this box here comes nicely packed. And uh, we'll take this all apart here and we'll see what it's all about. So, looks like this one here, we get the ballast part uh, separate, okay? Separate unit. It's got a bunch of mounting holes on it. This is going to get mounted to the panel. So, this is a massive panel here. It's a foldable panel, so it's quite big. Here's your photo bio ballast with your inputs and outputs. You've got a dimmer here, which goes from 40% to 100%. And then you can also add a dimmer controller on the, uh, and an input. And uh, here's your input for your, your power. And here's your daisy chain plugs. So you can, uh, you can actually uh, connect multiple units together to have them working all off on the same timer. And uh, you know, easier to wire up. So there is the ballast part of it, the driver, I guess I should say, because it's an LED. Uh, do yourself a nice little manual here. Maybe we might take a look at that while we're trying to put this thing together. Let's see what other parts we get in this box here. And here, oh, here we get our, uh, our, our basically our, 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 our daisy chain cable here. So you get a daisy chain cable with your with your uh, with your light, or that might be actually the plug to go from your ballast to your light fixture. We'll see once we finish opening this up. Again, this is the first time I opened it in here. Also, they have uh, I would assume this is their screws and stuff to mount your ballast. Oh yeah, little thumb little thumb screws and an Allen key to mount your uh, your unit. As you can see here, here's your uh, here's your thumb screws, an Allen key. And that, uh, I'm guessing, should be all that you need to put this bad boy together. Put these aside here. Okay, now, let's see if we pull out all this foam here. And uh, let's see what this bad boy looks like once we get it out of the box. Okay, she's quite big. As you can tell, close to four feet long. And it is foldable. It is quite a massive unit. So, here, we'll take this here. Give me a second and we will uh, make a little space here so we can uh, show you a little better what it's all about. Okay, so we've got it in a protective bag here. Each panel has its own little protective sleeve. As we open this massive light up, you can see it is quite large. It's 43 inches by 44 inches, okay? So just under four feet by four feet. So you could technically fit this in a four by four tent. I don't know if that would be the best idea because it is quite powerful. It's 680 watts. You would have to move a lot of air to get rid of that heat because the ballast we are mounting is going to be on the unit in the tent. So it is still gonna create heat. Remember, we're still burning 680 watts. So there is gonna be a bit of warmth here, but this light fixture here is supposed to be you know, better than the Gavita 1700 LED. 
you take a look at their stats and their and, and their their testing it is quite impressive so now after you unbag it and tag it when we spread it open there it is nice and flat it is quite a large panel they've spread the panels out quite a bit put a little bit of a reflector on the sides there to kind of spread the light should give you nice even coverage and easily a four foot to five foot by five foot space so i think this light is going to work remarkably in our five by five tent on our four by uh and with uh, six plants running blue mat system and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned to the rest of the videos as we start to put this thing together and install it we will uh here let's see how we can do this here so you can still see take the panel swung it open so now it's one huge panel and then as we lie it down here we'll try and be very very careful we'll lie it down on a bunch of foam here just to protect everything and uh the way that this panel is set up here it is quite large here we'll take a little peek down here so you can see the way that this goes is we've got the driver for the led here which is this unit right here and obviously you're going to put it in the direction for the two plugs on the other end here they'll match up they've got a screw in there already to drop this thing onto to line it all up um they got another one here so we can slide her in there it is it's locked in and then we have the couple of sets uh, the thumb screws here to mount uh, the rest of the ballast to the unit so we're just gonna install this one here now here with your allen screw here your allen key you're gonna screw this into the panel so this is gonna tighten it up and keep it flat and there is that side and then we're gonna tighten up this side here So this here now is somewhat assembled. We're gonna plug in the ends here. I'm gonna plug in one on this side. And basically you push it in, it only goes in one way. Push it in, tighten up the, the nuts here, the collar nuts so we can uh, get this thing plugged in together. There we go, another one here. We're gonna screw these ones together tight, good and tight, all right? So there we are, we've got the panel together and I'll show you here quickly what it looks like mounted together. There's your panel, there's your panels on there. The thing's all nice and straight and flat and uh, there you are. So this thing is actually put together. The last thing we gotta do is pull out our plug here and plug it in. Now uh, I yet, have to find hangers for it at this moment and I don't see any hangers in the box so uh, looks like it doesn't come with uh, with hangers so which is uh, which is kind of odd for fi for fixtures they usually uh, give you an extra plugs and stuff like that so you can mount this but there is your 110 plug this gets plugged into the end here like this it just Click, it's IP65 certified, so you, you can mount this in wet locations. And uh, here we go. So, got it plugged in. Well, we got, we got the plug plugged in. We're gonna take this unit, we're gonna stand her up. And we'll put it up against the wall here so you can see how intense this lighting really is. We'll see if we got it long enough here to plug into this plug on this side here. And then you'll be able to see how bright this bad boy is. Okay, so we're going to toss this thing here. We're going to turn it all the way down to PX. Because that's the PX controller. So we could use the controller to control this. But right now, I'm assuming at this point, it will actually have... Oh! I thought they, it was going to be off on that setting, but I guess not. So that right there is for PX controller. That's 100%, 85%, 70%, 55%, and 40%. I'm going to leave it at 40% here so you can kind of see these LEDs because I do realize they are quite bright. 
you can see they got the infrareds, they've got uh, UVA, or I guess you should say UVB, and they've got full spectrum lighting. So this thing here at 100% is 680 watts. So from this 680 watts, we should, our goal is to try and get as close to two pounds as possible in that five by five room. So uh, stay tuned. We'll throw up the next video where we mount this in our space and we show you how it's uh, how we're going to be using this. And you can follow along and see uh, how, what, our, what our output is at the end of the day. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, look up Growers and Smokers. Check us out, follow us, like us, share us. Uh, you know, maybe make a comment or two on what you'd like to see. But uh, this unit right here is definitely bright as the sun. So I'm very excited to start uh, growing with this light fixture here. And I can't wait to show you guys the results. So anyways, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'm going to keep on setting up stuff and seeing how it all goes. And uh, we'll see you guys later.